Good morning students. Today I am going to discuss about inverse stretch reflex. Before we enter into the topic, please note the important MCQ. Receptor for inverse stretch reflex is Golgi tendon organ. And as the name suggests, inverse stretch reflex. So, it is the inverse of stretch reflex. Then of course, the output is expected to be relaxation. What happens in stretch reflex? When the muscle is stretched, the muscle contracts. So, stretch reflex is contraction of muscle. Inverse stretch reflex is relaxation of muscle which I am going to discuss. Only if you know stretch reflex it is going to be easy. Inverse stretch reflex just to concentrate. Inverse stretch reflex of course I told the final output, output is going to be relaxation of the muscle. But what triggers inverse stretch reflex? What causes inverse stretch reflex? I already told you receptor for inverse stretch reflex is Golgi tendon organ. Now the question where is Golgi tendon organ located? Of course it is in the tendon of the muscle. We all know the ends of the muscles are tendon and the tendon is attached to the bone. So, now I will draw the Golgi tendon organ here in the blue color. You can see here this is Golgi tendon organ. Remember Golgi tendon organs are forming like in knobs K N O B S. It is formed like knobby and another very very important this intrafusal fiber and extrafusal fibers are parallel to each other. Just concentrate. This is muscle this red color is intrafusal fiber, out one is extrafusal fiber, they both are parallel to each other. But concentrate, this muscle spindle, muscle fibers are in series with the Golgi tendon organ. Another viva question, Golgi tendon organ are arranged in series, straight line, are arranged in series with muscle fibers. Now let us come to the topic, inverse stretch reflex is mainly caused, causes for inverse stretch reflex is excessive stretch or excessive contraction of the muscle. The better word is increased pressure. So, when the when there is excessive stretch, what happens? The muscle goes for extensive contraction. That should not happen. If the muscle is keeping on contracting, what can happen? Or the muscle is keeping on too much stretched, what happens? there could be tear of the muscle or rupture of the muscle also can occur. So, inverse stretch reflex is, note it down, protective reflex and the main stimulus for inverse stretch reflex increase in tension, tendon tension, remember like the tendon. So, receptor for inverse stretch reflex is tendon, Golgi tendon organ, stimulus for inverse stretch reflex is tension. So, remember this mnemonic tendon, one more mnemonic I will tell. G T O give tension out. So, when there is more increased tension because of too much contraction, I have to release the tension to prevent the damage to the muscle or to prevent the tear of the muscle, to prevent the rupture of the muscle. So, G T O acts Golgi tendon organ. Why the name Golgi tendon organ? Because it is situated in the tendon of the muscle. The Golgi tendon organ fires. So, the afference from the Golgi tendon organ is 1 B. Please note it down. So, this is uh, the red color is stretch reflex, the brown color which I am drawing is inverse stretch reflex. So, when the Golgi tendon organ fires, the afferents are fired 1B and it is also going via dorsal greyhound and just to concentrate, the 1B fibers goes into the spinal cord and synapse with inhibitory interneuron. Please, please note it down. And that inhibitory interneuron is going to inhibit the alpha. So, what happens? Contraction is inhibited, alpha is inhibited because of that relaxation of muscle takes place. The relaxation of muscle prevents the rupture of the muscle. Now, next question. Stretch reflex is monosynaptic or disynaptic or polysynaptic? Yes, stretch reflex is monosynaptic reflex. Most of the stretch reflexes are monosynaptic. Now, see the diagram, see the blue color, inverse stretch reflex. Here is one neuron, here is one synapse and here is another synapse. So, two synapses. So, Inverse stress reflex is an example of disynaptic reflex because of another inhibitory interneuron. Inter means some middle inter, uh, some connection in between the two. Now going to the final spot of this video. Difference between stress reflex, inverse stress reflex. Already know stimulus for the stress reflex is stretch of the muscle. Whereas stimulus here is pressure. Too much stretch or too much pressure or tension. You can remember tension. When there is too much tension or too much contraction or too much pressure, inner stretch reflex takes place. 
receptors for stretch reflex is muscle spindle receptors for inverse stretch reflex is golgi tendon organ afferent is 1a2 it can be nuclear bag or nuclear check depends on whether it is dynamic stretch reflex or static stretch reflex here it is 2b afferent is both alpha only but here alpha is stimulated in stretch reflex alpha is stimulated in inverse stretch reflex alpha is inhibited but the afferent is alpha only yeah response is contraction of muscle here response is relaxation of the muscle so that's how inverse stretch reflex takes place and it is a very important protective mechanism and it is also an example of auto inhibition the muscle keeps on contracting and you are trying to inhibit that your own muscle contraction it is also an example of auto inhibition yeah as i already told another thing regarding muscle spindle and golgi tendon organ muscle spindle mainly responds to change in length of muscle whenever there is stretch the muscle spindle is sensed the stretch of that spindle the stretch of the interfusal fiber and it acts so note it down muscle spindle is responsive to length of the muscle or change in length of the muscle sometimes velocity of the change of the muscle so depending on that only you have dynamic response and static response both are coming in muscle spindle so muscle spindle detects the change in length the change in velocity whereas golgi tendon whereas golgi tendon organ detects the change in tension it responds to tension and pressure or force also you can tell change in force of the muscle so quick summary today's video i discuss about what are the receptors of inverse stretch reflex golgi tendon organ the function of golgi tendon organ is to prevent a rupture of the muscle inverse stretch reflex is an example of disynaptic reflex the red color is stretch reflex the blue color is inverse stretch reflex when the inverse stretch reflex starts only the golgi tendon organ fires when the golgi tendon organ fires only when there is pressure on the golgi tendon organ when there will be pressure on the tendon only when there will be pressure on the golgi tendon organ when there is pressure on the tendon when there will be pressure on the tendon when there is too much stretch or too much contraction or too much pressure so in this video we will deal with a different topic thanks for your patient listening if you have not subscribed to our channel physiology lectures by dr sandil kumar please subscribe to our channel and follow our channel and please press the notification button so that you will be notified of the upcoming videos regularly thank you happy learning